please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video. Recently, you saw Dave rank the Japanese leader bikes and the European leader bikes. In this video, he blends them together into an alchemy and gives you his top five leader bikes through 2019. Here's a preview. All right, so my own personal top five leader bikes of the current generation, all based on when that bike comes to me, how much energy and effort does it take to get that bike to handle for that person and how much money do they have to spend to make it right. Well, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this if you're 160 and fairly aggressive with it and you do take it to the track and wind it out and have fun with it at 160 plus without gear. This bike will dial in fairly quickly, but it's gonna take some work. It's also gonna take some work because as you discover the electronics and understand what's available in that package, at that point, then the settings are gonna change dramatically. So this requires a lot of work to get it to where it needs to be and then you progress again and now you've got to put a lot more work in again to get that bike ahead of you with different settings especially in the front end as the oil quality degrades the shocks fairly consistent but the front end degrades a lot so it re requires a lot of time and attention so that's why the v4 base is down here just so much work next Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, Dave at DaveMossTuning.com.